I have a quick testimony to share with you about the greatness of our God. It's one year over a year due now this testimony, but I hope it does encourage you. I hope it brings you hope if you're facing any adversity, if you're facing any trial, any tribulation. I hope this will be able to give you hope and, and, and set you with, with God. All right. So July 2020, I uh, woke up to a very disturbing um, phone message from my sister in Brazil saying that my dad was taken ill to hospital, having seizures in, in what they thought was a stroke. Of course, my first reaction it was to worry. It was to send a message to my dead wife and worry and try to get more news. And my mind already racing around thinking about what do I need to do, where I'm going to go, what I'm going to do if I need to travel. And, and, and all, the, all the things that we would need, you know, for travel, we were already in a COVID era. So what could we do? What could I do to go and help my dad? Um, my dad was taken to a um, university hospital in Brazil. And there he was looked after. He had CT scans and he, he had MRI scans. And they found this, they called it a shadow on his MRI. It didn't look anything like cancer, it didn't look anything like a stroke. They could not say what it was, but it was something that clearly it was causing those seizures, it was causing my dad to have all these stroke symptoms. And they had to even call the, the biggest uh, neurologist, the head of departments uh, from, from the university and the surgeons, because none of them could figure out what it was. My dad had no history any disease that could have led to that. He didn't have, and he hadn't hit his head, he hadn't had a concussion. There was nothing that could explain what it was, that shadow that was causing my dad to seizure. And I do remember that in that time, I started praying, and that's what happened. And very quickly, I knew Sam replied, and I knew the whole church was behind me. I received very good messages, a very encouraging message from, from very beloved uh, people from the church encouraging and praying and when I managed to speak to my dad um, later on that day he was very dozed off very still on the effect of some medication and I do remember he turned to me and said they had to call those big doctors and I know this is God because how else how come those doctors would hear about Jesus how else they would know that there is a God, if not through me? And it is a great statement of faith, but when you are a daughter, nearly on the other side of the world, you do quite worry. And I was like, yes, Dad, yes, Dad, but we you know, don't, don't, don't drive, don't do this, don't do that. And keep me posted. The next scan he went to a couple of weeks later. The shadow is still, still there. Doctors didn't know how he reduced, but he reduced. He didn't have any more seizures and they couldn't explain it. They honestly could not explain it. And we kept praying and we kept praying and my dad kept reaching out to those doctors saying he's gonna go. There's nothing. There's nothing that my God can't do. And they waited for a bit longer. They do another scan. Then that's gone. Completely gone. There was no more shadow. There was nothing. CTs can could find what they found initially and that absolutely confused the doctors they couldn't figure it out they couldn't figure out they don't know they don't know what it was they don't know what happened but my dad knew my dad knew that he was a way for God to reach to those doctors to reach to those people that maybe no other way they would hear about the love of a God that sent his son to die for us, to save us, to have a relationship with us. In December 2020, my dad was receiving his bill of health from those doctors, saying, we don't know, we can't explain. My dad knew, my dad knew right there and then. That that was his mission, that was his time, that throughout his tribulation, the uncomfort, the seizures, the problems he had, that he had a mission, he had to reach out to those doctors. So I hope this encourages you. My dad today is well. He's leading his church. He's loving. 
um, his church more than he could ever do and he's happy doing so. So I do hope that this encourages you throughout your trials, throughout your tribulations, that he's a God. Okay? And he placed you at that point. He's placed you at that place for his purpose, for his glory. Okay? God bless you, church.